We had a little bit of a warm up, uh, for a bike race to do a warm up, for a TT to do a warm up. Before a interview, we did a bit of a warm up. Um, and I asked you randomly if you played your guitar and I hoped that we had one lying around, but we don't. But you're quite a musical fellow, aren't you? As well as being a former World Time Trial champion, you're multi-talented, is it fair to say? No, I wouldn't say multi-talented, no? but I was uh, growing up with a mother who, uh, and also a father that was quite uh, musical. Okay. So I went to the boys' uh, choir when I was, uh, when I was younger. Cool. Yeah, both my parents, but especially my mom, wanted me and my um, two younger sisters. So me and the oldest one, we went to piano school for, uh, I think, four or five years. Right, so okay. that was five schools, five years of piano school, right? Yeah, uh, so that was where it all started. And then I found it a bit boring when I got older after watching a bit of Guns N' Roses and, uh, and Slash and stuff. So <laughs> then I picked up guitar from YouTube and played quite a lot in my, uh, my youth years. But uh, yeah, I still have it on my bucket list to, to buy both a piano and, uh, and a guitar for my apartment, but uh, haven't, got, haven't got the finger out yet. That's really cool. It's, I've got a list of questions, but I think I need to drill down in a little bit more into this musical side of it because it's not something we, we explore very often. You've obviously just joined the team. We're at the camp here. You've got to form a band, okay? What teammates? It's four, four of you in the band, including you. What, are, what three teammates do you think could play the drums, maybe be the lead singer, and play the bass guitar? Randomly. Randomly. <laughs> who do you think? Who, you, who do you think could be quite musical amongst the guys? I think maybe G could be, uh, or at least it seems like he have some okay music taste. Okay. I, I heard Ben is really good at singing. Uh, I saw a video from, uh, so from the ben. other... Yeah, Ben is probably going to be a lead, lead singer since okay. uh, he already had the reputation. Okay, Ben Turner. So, ben, ben, yeah. Swift. So ben Turner, lead singer, great. Yeah. What, what would you play? I could take the keyboard. The keyboard? That's, that's, okay. That's fine. Okay. And then uh, I think G will be really cool at the drums, also with the hair. G on the drums? Be, uh, <laughs> I just imagined it. Really, <laughs> really rocked it. And uh, let's see, the bass is, is often like the boring, uh, boring instrument in the band. Okay, but they're, kind like, of like, uh, they're kind of cool, though, aren't exactly they? Exactly, like, like understated. When you know it, it's understated. So when you know it, it's, it's really cool. So uh, ah, who, who did they put there? I um, do you know. What I think I think Lawrence De Plus could be a good bass player. Just yeah, I agree. Got actually, that look, yeah, yeah. Kind of like tall range. Just bang, bang. Yeah, yeah. But hey, when you say it, actually, then I think uh, just a bit lead singer. He really, he really got some swag out of this world. So uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. He would be a great, uh, great uh, display. So he as lead singer, G on drums. Let's play uh, Prusko on the bas uh, bass guitar, me on the keyboards, and then uh, toss Ben in there as well on the, on the, on the guitar. I think that would be great stuff. What a lineup! What yeah. a lineup! What a way to start! <laughs> what a way to start! I've seen some wonderful, just going back, back to cycling, I've seen some wonderful photos online recently. I can't remember if you posted or some, somebody else showed me of you, maybe, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, riding in team or half team, uh, team Sky Kit as a junior. Um, big fan of Edvold Bersenhagen, and here you are. Obviously, Edvold's not, not in the team anymore, but clearly a big inspiration. What's it actually like being in a part that's set up now? It, it truly means a lot to be in this team, and uh, already now I feel like uh, it's, it's a proper place where I uh, truly can be myself and uh, truly belong. And hopefully maybe express yourself musically as well as from a cycling <laughs> perspective as well. Wow. Okay, got some rapid-fire questions, Tobias. Yeah. Lillehammer or Lake Como? Lillehammer. Yeah. Okay. Coffee or beer? Coffee. Coffee. That was a very quick answer. Coffee. Do yeah. you like beer though? Yeah, I, I don't mind, but uh, I, I like coffee. a good... I, I can't drink a beer every day, you know, but a coffee no. or a couple of coffees every day is perfect. Is okay. I think like most people. Exactly. Okay. Most used emoji? Probably the heart or something. The heart, yeah, okay. I'm basically just texting with my girlfriend, so it's just... Lots, uh, especially when you're away, like, full it's got to be the hearts. Yeah. It's got to be heart. So. Can I have a look at your last emoji on your phone? Yeah. That's okay. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Um, I reckon it could be the thumbs up. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's not a bad guess, actually. Let's hear. It's uh, ah, it's it's uh, laughing out loud. Uh, it's a laughing out loud, but it's yeah. a normal laughing out loud. And yeah. then there's the sideways one, but it's a laughing out loud. We're very popular. Completely different question now. Your best ever day on a bike. Obviously, the World yeah. Championships was amazing. But was that your best day on a bike as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was without a doubt. Yeah. Everything went right, didn't it? Yeah, you know, like I was just going into it so calm. Uh, didn't think about the result at all. We made a good plan on forehand, and we were 100% focused on the execution. So, and yeah, of course, the body and the physical side were just something I haven't experienced uh, before that. So it was, uh, you know, like it just a big moment where you can feel like something special is going on. And Even during uh, the ride, did you feel? 
Yeah. You do feel that, you know that you were kind of floating. Yeah, especially also like hearing the time checks and you know, like at that point as well, like a third place for me would be like super. Yeah. So also understanding a bit in between the lines that uh, the medal was quite not secure, but well within reach. And uh, I was actually fighting all the way up there. That was um, uh, adrenaline rush out of this world. It's also quite cool because uh, uh, Kurt Asle Arvidsson was in the car behind me okay. together with my old trainer. Anna Gunnar, yeah, they also said it was, was a really special day and also the same feeling that, uh, you know, just you could just feel this feeling of something special happening. That's really good. See that it, it twinkle in your eye when you yeah. talk about it. I mean, just off the back of that, actually, to a slightly more serious question, you must be looking at the preparation. And, and I, I did read a quite an interesting interview with you just after about, we know, we, we know how technical that course was. It wasn't easy to sustain a rhythm. There was constantly stop, start, accelerations, and you you timed that perfectly because you've already had a top 10 in the Giro and stuff. Like, people don't often talk about that, do they? they you know, it's, it's just like, you know, you, you're a rider that must have GC aspirations there as well. Must be something that you want to you do. No, exactly. I think, uh, I think that's also the way to go. To, yeah, I just want to improve myself so I can be like sustainable up, up, up in the best mix there and then start with the weak races and then kind of already prove, uh, prove to myself I can uh, can do a top 10 in the Grand Tour, so yeah, if I'm gonna aim for a Grand Tour again, I wanna be good enough for, for the podium or for the top five. Back to the random questions. Okay, you've been given the keys to a Grenadier for the day, okay, but you can go anywhere in the world. Where are you gonna take it? Oh, definitely back home uh, okay. <laughs> in the winter, hopefully like uh, half, half a meter of uh, powder snow and really put the car to the test. Okay. Out like on the country road or like a uh, tractor road or something. Like what particular part of, of Norway is it? Where, 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 are, where are you from exactly? I was from the, from the east side or like uh, east side of Norway. So uh, about two hours uh, northeast of, uh, no, uh, northwest of, of Oslo. Okay. So um, kind of up in a valley. So uh, around there as well, it's, it's quite beautiful. It's quite cool to drive a car like that, I think. Yeah, just, oh, sounds fantastic. If you could pick one of your teammates, one in your Grenadier, to become a winter athlete, who do you think it would be? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's easy. That's so you've already formed a band, so now we need, a win we need a, an Olympi a winter Olympian out of the team. Who do you reckon? Yeah, so I think we need to keep it like in the Scandinavian blood then. So then the choice is quite easy with uh, Magnus. But, uh, okay. Being half Norwegian, yeah. for sure, he needs to be uh, uh, the best uh, winter athlete. And he's a, pretty, he's a pretty good skier as well, isn't yeah. he, really? That he's quite, quite accomplished. So, yeah. I think that's the correct answer. You got a tandem for the day, and you can pick any celebrity, living or dead. Kobe, Brian. Okay, okay right, okay. Yeah, I think just his mentality, and, and uh, I read some books about it, and, and, and also seen yeah, a lot of stuff on the internet, so um, for sure it could be a quite uh, inspiring and, and cool day out on the bike. What are you most looking forward to? Um, your first season of the, with the Inos Grenadiers. Yeah, um, first of all, I'm really excited for uh, for a fresh start. I think uh, it's it's uh, just perfect timing for me to to get like uh, yeah to a new team, uh, fresh people, fresh uh, everything. It's fresh, and uh, especially with my history with with uh, Sky back in the days, that yeah. it, uh, it's a team that truly means a lot to me. So so that is is gonna give me a lot of energy and. Um, and then I'm just looking forward to start the process. Uh, yeah, where the process ends, I don't know, but uh, I want to try to become as good uh, as I can as an athlete and, and, and grow as a person. And, and I think this is truly a team where I can uh, get the full potential out of me. And my penultimate question, who's the, who's the most inspiring rider in the team for you? Who's a rider that you look to and you think, wow, okay. Because you've got to, as you've already illustrated, and um, we've talked about, there's a, a lot of ch real champions in this team. There's a one particular rider that you think, that inspires you. You are, you are allowed to say. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It has to be G. I yeah. think uh, uh, also growing up, okay, I was from the same city as Edval. He was the guy getting me into everything. But yeah, also sitting playing pro cycling manager back in the days, being quite so cool. quite nerdy about cycling. I was always playing Sky and and uh, especially with Wiggins, through me and and, and G. Yeah. Um, those were like my my, my big idols and. Also, kind of the same um, bodybuilding as me as well. Like not the born 60 kilo rider. Sure. More like the guy that has a huge engine and 
has been able to optimize that, that as good as possible. So always been a big inspiration and um, yeah, I think for sure he's the yeah. teammates with us. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, lastly, um, you showed me, do you want to show the folks <laughs> a picture on your phone? I had a picture on your, on, your, on your phone, didn't you, which you showed me earlier on during our little warm up. Uh, yeah. If we can zoom, zoom in. It's from 2019, isn't it? It's us two in, in the nightclub <laughs> after the Worlds in 2019. Did a selfie. <laughs> so, so <laughs> yeah. there, there we have like a uh, second year junior Tobias being quite, uh, yeah, not super uh, star shirt, but uh, yeah, it was, it was, nice, was, but was, yeah. was a fa famous person in, in, in the bar. So we, were, we, we were out celebrating the after the road race of the under 23. So in a, in a proper Yorkshire pub. So it was uh, Reunited cool. four years later or five yeah. years later, whatever it is. Nice one. Without glasses, though. But indeed, yes. Yeah, yeah in indeed. And slightly longer hair now as well. But Tobias, lovely to chat. Have a crack in 2024, mate. Thanks, mate. Take care.